Hello there, day three of Vlogmas and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little tour of my ensuite bathroom. Now you've heard of room tours, you've heard of house tours but I'm sure there's not many people who will give you a tour of an ensuite but the reason is I was sitting in here uh, the other day and looking around and thinking it's an absolute Disney cave so I thought I might show you some of the little details. Now the thing is um, we try and keep really over Disney out of the living room. We do have some little Disney touches. Uh, we obviously have the prints in the bedroom and things like that. But a lot of the things that are just kind of for me, I put in here. I'm going to start then in this back corner. Right. Now you'll have seen the prints in the bedroom if you um, were watching on day one of Vlogmas. And these are, in fact I can just show you now. Look, the bedroom's in there. These were bought at Disneyland Paris. We bought them at uh, the Mercantile in Frontierland, but I believe you can get them all over the park. And these two just weren't quite of the same sort of Edwardian attraction style that those were. So we had those eight looking all nice and symmetrical over the bed. And then we separated these two and I've put them up in this corner above the throne there. So this is my heart ride. It's a small world and a beautiful pizza pan next to it. Now down here we've got the grape soda dish. If anyone recognises that, that is from the pin badge that... Oh gosh, I've forgotten her name. What's Carl's wife? Ellie. Carl's wife out of up, Ellie. That's the pin badge that Ellie wears on her dungarees. And it's just got all my jewellery in and clips in that I take off when I'm washing my face at night. We've got a little bee with a little Mickey Mouse head on here. That's very special. It's bee for Bonnie. And then the Mickey, obviously. A few other bits of Disney jewellery in there. Now, coming around, I don't pretend my bathroom is tidy by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm going to show you it anyway. I have all my guidebooks next to the loo. Um, thing is, these are pretty much all out of date now entirely and I don't find guidebooks the best way to plan a holiday anyway, but I have them next to the loo so that from time to time I can just get one out and be like, right, okay, day four, what will I do on day four? Flick, flick, flick. On day four, I am going to go to On the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. Yay! And then I read a paragraph or so and put it down. It's just one of the many ways I get excited for future holidays. Um, incidentally, that's a um, video I think I might do later in the week is the different ways I anticipate holidays and stay excited about holidays in between trips. But those guidebooks are definitely one of them. Right, now I'm going to bring you onto this kind of shrine up here. This is incredibly self-indulgent and if you recognise it, it is photographs and medals from when I did Run Disney in 2018. That's me. Now, it had not only been one of the best weekends of my entire life, that's your half marathon medal there, I believe, but it's, I was so proud of myself afterwards because it reflected a year of training and I was never a runner. I've got the 31k challenge, I'll explain all these in a bit. I was never a runner and so I was so proud of myself when I got back and I had these amazing medals and I really wanted to display them, but they don't really go anywhere else in the house and I, I, I had a display in mind, it wouldn't fit anywhere. It was really for me. It wasn't something that was for the rest of the family anyway. That, that display and that pride there, that was for me. So I put it on this wall here, directly opposite the loo. So whenever I'm sat on the loo, I do, I genuinely, I feel proud of my achievement. And I also, I look at how happy my face looks there, how healthy I'm looking because of the exercise I've been doing over the months going up to it. And it, it's quite, it's quite motivational for me to see these things. If you're wondering why I say when I sit on the loo, this is very much my bathroom. I don't know if you guys, anyone who's got more than one bathroom in the house, do you share both bathrooms or do you have one each? 
because in our house it's 100% all Hugh's and Bonnie's cosmetics and belongings are in the family bathroom and all mine are in the ensuite and that's just the way it goes. We don't really share these spaces. Right, so let me give you a quick look through. This is the number that you pin to your chest. So that was pinned and unpinned three times during that weekend. Remember I did the, let's go through it. I did the 5K on the Friday night and that was all Marvel villains. And then I did the 10K on the Saturday morning. Um, and that was sidekicks, villain sidekicks. And then I did the half marathon on the Sunday. Look at that majestic thing. What a gorgeous item. Now, because I did the 10K plus the 21K, I got a 31K medal. And because I did the 5K plus the 10K plus the 21K, I got the 36K medal. So I came away after doing three races, I came away with five medals. Um, I just want to note this one here. This is the best meet and greet I've done in all my trips to a Disney park and it lasted about 10 seconds because at Run Disney you just, you run in, get your photo taken and run out again, speed is of the essence. But as I ran towards them, both uh, Br'er Rabbit and, sorry not Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox, they both just put their arms around me so I was like in this big fur sandwich and then for no reason um, Br'er Fox started going like this in my face but he had the furriest hands and it just made me giggle after running through the cold for so much, it, it really warmed me up and it just made me giggle the way it was so I loved that, that was like I say 10 seconds, best meet I've ever done. Now then. One more that's worth mentioning. This, I'd waited the whole weekend to have the medal, to have the photo taken in front of the castle with all five medals. And when I got there, there was no photo pass photographer. There had been the day before, but there was none that day. I was absolutely gutted. So I had to get a passing, passing stranger to take that. And I don't think that they were involved in Run Disney. So they didn't really know what I was doing or why, but it was very much worth it. Now, do you know, Something I didn't show you while we're over here. This packet here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's it. Yeah, it's got all the spare photos. So let's see if there's any different. Oh, I think they're just duplicates of the ones I've already got up. Yeah, they are. But that's the one I was looking for. Got the flying genie. Now, I must say I'm vain. And there was something about the way I was crunching my... Pushing out my stomach and crunching up. That was looking a bit chubby when I did that one, so I didn't put it on the wall. But that's me crossing the finish line from the 10K. And look at the height I've got there. That's energy for you, you see. I was absolutely shattered, but the adrenaline of the moment, you just managed to go, whippee! So that's another good photo. Right, we're nearly at the end now. Like I say, excuse my mess, as you see all the towels on the back of the door. This is the final Disney touch we've got in here, and these were bought by my mum last year. So, the, we've got, I think she bought them off a local seller, which I'm a big fan of. Big fan of that. People buying off other crafters rather than giving the money to Amazon and such places. Um, and over here, that one says, every, every rain day is a Disney day damn right and this one was for Bonnie Rain. Now the reason they've kind of ended up in this corner is because the very stark um, red and yellow really doesn't fit in any of our other rooms. Our living room is very vintage, our bedroom is very soft so they're over here but again they make me smile because it was a gift from my mommy. Okay I think that's about it. That's the smallest room in our house, but I hope you've enjoyed having a little look round. I might show you some of the details as Vlogmas goes on. But for now, that was Vlogmas Day 3, and I will see you tomorrow.